All right, fellas, I'm out in the garage today, and well, I just got through cutting the grass, and boy, I gotta tell you, it's a just a beautiful day. I think in the garage here, it's about 78 degrees, but outside it's around 80. It's just a beautiful day out here. But uh, I'm in here in the garage now, since I got my chores done for the day, and I wanted to do a little update on my 1940 Willis pickup gasser. But uh, for, let me get my, I'm working on, on my bubbly here pretty good and the cat's there with me, but uh, I want to do a little uh, mail call for, here first before I get into the uh, gasser here. Uh, I, got, I got a card sent to me from Jared over at Jared B Models. Boy, I'll tell you what, that, that's a good looking card. I think, I'm, I'm not into the motorcycles, but I think that's probably the one of the Revell kits. You know, without that front fender on it, uh, it this motorcycle kind of reminds me of the one Fonza used to ride in uh, Happy Days back in the early 70s when that show was on. But uh, if, if y'all haven't been to Jared's site, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, he's into motorcycles, the cars and trucks and big rigs. He's into a little bit of everything, and uh, he's just one awesome builder. And uh, I'll put a link down below in the description uh, so y'all can go over and check him out if you haven't already. Uh, Jared, thanks for the card, man. Appreciate it. And I got another card, <clears throat> and it is from Jeff's Model Garage. And uh, Jeff's about the same way. He's he's into uh, the big rigs as well, and motorcycles and cars and trucks. He's into everything as well. And uh, y'all need to go over to his side and check out some of his videos because he's he's just an uh, excellent builder. Just uh, just excellent. And uh, Jeff, I appreciate that. And I, I appreciate the kind words on the back. And uh, that's just one awesome looking shop card there, man. Uh, both these shop cards are going to go on the wall in my collection. I appreciate it. All right, fellas. <clears throat> uh, I've been working on the 40 Willies. Let me show you what I've done here. I got the, I got the box together. Uh, the front end. I've got the... Fenders, remember on the kit here. If you can look up here on the kit, the fenders were split right there. Well, I cut those off the body and glued them onto the front section of the fenders to make it a full fender. So uh, I still gotta. I keep sanding, hitting it with primer and sanding again. So I'm, I think one more sanding, and then I'll hit with the primer. I should be done, but uh, I'm getting pretty close. But, uh, that's looking pretty good so far. Body, I haven't really done anything with it. I, I look at this. I, this funky looking firewall, those little tabs on the side, they just look so funny, you know, when, the, when, they're, when this is on the model. I may cut these off straight. Since I've modified the, <clears throat> the fenders here, I may just cut those off straight because those are just kind of, to me, kind of wonky looking. But anyway, uh, here's the box. Uh, I guess I got it glued together pretty good because the top fits pretty good on it. And uh, on the uh, bed sides in there, there was a lot of injector pin marks and uh, just a lot of flash build up and sink marks, everything. So I filled both those sides in and sanded them down and uh, it ought to prime up pretty good. But... Uh, it went together pretty good. Uh, you ha they had you this frame. Uh, I don't know if I got the instructions out here or not. Let me see if I can get over here to the instructions. Oh, right here it is. See, they had you all this gray area. You have to cut all that out of the frame. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can't get it together. Um, of course, now I've got my, I've got the uh, the bed just tack glued to the frame because I wanted to build this box on the frame to make sure I got it squared up, everything was looking right. But uh, uh, I'm gonna pop that off there because I want to be able to paint this as a separate unit. But uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta cut all that off of there, all that gray area. It's all gonna be cut off of there, and I, I basically just took my uh, nippers and and. Cut a bunch of it off and took my Dremel tool with a round sanding drum and, and went after it and didn't take 10-15 minutes. 
<coughs> but that's about where I'm at on the wheelies. <coughs> I've gotten a lot of the uh, engine parts off the tree and cleaned up. I think I'm not going to leave these chrome. I'm either going to paint these with that Tamiya silver leaf, all the chrome parts. Either the Tamiya silver leaf or I've got some Krylon. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's a metallic silver or something like that. It looks like chrome. It looks pretty good when you paint it, spray it out. So I might use that. And I just, this little, uh, this is a belt cover. It actually goes over. Let me see if I can get this to go on there one handed. It goes over. It's a belt guard. It goes on. I guess if, you, uh, if you're at the line and you're, <clears throat> you got her tacked up to five, six grand, you dump the clutch and the belt snaps, that'll hold her in place. It won't fly off and hit somebody in the, in the bleachers. But I got a lot of the engine parts cleaned up. Uh, the engine, they've got it glued, engine halves, they're glued together. and uh, I'm ready to start uh, doing some work on that. But uh, other than that, everything's going together pretty good. Uh, I got no complaints about it yet. I know this was another one like my... 51 Henry J, I started out on that and uh, knowing that it had issues and it started off good, but then, uh, boy, it, it got it got tough on me. And <laughs> I'm thinking this thing's gonna do the same thing because it's, it's, everything's gone smooth so far. So at some point, it's gotta hit me. And I think that's gonna probably be when this tilt front end goes on. And, and even though I've made some modifications to it, to get it to swing down properly and look right, uh, Probably gonna take a little bit of work because the, the hinges that they give you up front up here just <laughs> they they leave a little bit to be desired. But uh, I don't know. That's that's why it's that's why we're modelers, isn't it, fellow? So we can work these issues out. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna ramble on about. I guess I'm done. I'm out.